I just stood behind the fucking bathroom door. I didn't want to hear nothing. I didn't want to see nothing. I didn't want no parts of nothing. So I mean, what? It's true. We. What? My time coming, I can feel it. I ain't really got no feeling. Look. What? <laughs> I know my time coming, I can feel it. Only thing hey y'all, welcome back to my channel with your girl Vicky XV. And if you want to hear about my coming out story and how I came out, stay tuned. There were three definite moments in my life when I said to myself, bitch, you gay. So, um, the first one is starting with this scar on my motherfucking face. I had a neighbor. I lived in 3A, she lived in 3C. Um, she had like six or seven siblings type shit. I forgot how many. More of the story is, um, I'm gonna just name her Adri. More of the story is me and Adri, we just always did some things we ain't have no business doing together. <laughs> That's just what we did. I'm super young, she's super young. We'll just always be doing some things we didn't have no business doing. So when I would go to her house and everybody go to sleep, we'll like kiss each other and shit like that. Um, when she'd come to my house, and um, well, my mother never really allowed them to spend the night. They'll come over and play games with me. I think it was Candyland and board games and whatever. When everybody would like leave the room or whenever we had an opportunity, we'll start kissing each other. That's just what we did. So my building at the time, my building, it was half shelter side and half permanent side. So pretty much what that mean was when you first walk into my building, it's a well, you have to walk through security. No, you have to get buzzed in. Then you have to walk through a double door with security look at you. If you live on the permanent side, they'll buzz you in because you pay rent. If you live on the shelter side, you better to sign in. We got to see you and take your ass on upstairs. So they had a daycare at the bottom where pretty much the shelter side and the permanent side used it all together. So boom, they was having a movie night downstairs and um, in the child care. So, Adri, she comes down and she gave me like a ring. It was like one of them 25 cent rings that you put into those little machines and it come out and like the little plastic lid shit. I'll, I'll upload it right. This type of machine and this is the type of ring that it was. So, um, she gave me the ring. So, I'm like, oh, thank you. Her sisters did not want me to have this ring. I do not know why. We were dead ass just teenies. Like, I, I didn't know why. More of the story is... I got jumped by Shorty's sisters. Mind you, it was it was the older sister, there was another sister, there was another sister. Not mistaken, three of them bitches jumped me, bro. Jumped me. And um, one of them just scratched my face so, 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 so bad. This is how that got there. So she, they pretty much jumped me. Um, all over a ring, all because their sister gave me a fucking ring, they jumped me. So I went upstairs, I told my mother, I'm like, ma, they jumped me, they jumped me. Now, if there's one thing that you don't know about my mother is that Gigi, Gina, she don't raise no bitches. You're not gonna come in her house and tell her you just got beat up and you just got jumped. And then that's, oh, no, 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 no. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. So I told my mother I got jumped. She was like, what the fuck we gonna do? Motor story is I had to go back downstairs and spank them one by one. Gina don't play that. So that happened. So as a kid, I'm not really thinking to myself like, damn, y'all niggas is not supposed to be smooching each other and giving each other like little promise rings and shit like that. So I thought to myself, hmm, but you might be gay. But whatever. As time goes on and as life progresses, I'm probably like in sixth, seventh or eighth grade right now. And I, and pretty much my mother found an after school program for me. So the name of the program is called Black Association for Adoption. Okay, so quick synopsis. For those of you who do not know, I'm adopted, but I'm not adopted out my family. Like instead of my mom raising me, her sister raised me. So I'm still, I ain't going nowhere. I'm still in the family and the drama and the bullshit. And pretty much Gina's my aunt. But she adopted me. She raised me. So that's my mom. But I do have my biological mom, who name is Dolores, who I love dearly. And she about her money, too. Gina and Dolores don't motherfucking play. So that explains why I'm a little unique. Um, 
so I'm like in sixth, seventh, or eighth grade. My mom finds this after school program for me. It was called the Black Association of Adoption. And that after school program was lit. They fed us pizza, sandwiches. We always went on activities, trips. It was lit. I legit love that after school program. The Black Association for Adoption. And it was in Harlem. Where in Harlem? I don't know what's the name of that damn block. But it's in Harlem. It's in Harlem. More of the story is I get there. It's a girl there. But she's kind of like a tomboy-ish. Her name is Grace. I'm just going to call her Grace because she got so many goddamn names. We're going to call her Grace. So Grace gets there, um, and we just start hanging out. It's not like, well, at least from my eyes, it's not like nothing on no gay things. She's just my friend. Like, we're cool. We always eat at the table with each other. We always going here, there, everywhere. She was just my friend. So I think it was one day after we left the um, program was over, um, my mom told me to take the train home. So she woke me to the train or whatever. She pretty much rolled me home to the Bronx. So I'm like, all right, this is cool. This is cool. So the next day I go back to the fucking program. And now I peep like she she looking at me. But she looking at me. You know when somebody looking at you like. Well, she wasn't doing all of that because she was more of like. She was more of like an age. So she wasn't doing all of that. But she was looking at me, looking at me. So me being me. What you looking at? <laughs> More of the story is me and her, we just, um, I think she just asked me, like, you, no, this is exactly what she asked me. She said, so are you like, or are you off rip? I don't know why. I knew exactly what that meant. Like, are you straight or are you bi? Are you gay? What's going on with you? So at the time, like, I didn't have no fucking boyfriend at the time or nothing like that. So I'm like... Bitch, I'm whatever you want me to be, okay? We could do this like Brutus. I'm whatever you want me to be. So she pretty much just asks me, oh, do you want to be my girlfriend? So I think about it and I'm like, hmm. Let me like dip my toe into this fountain of round and see if I like it. So whatever, me and her dated. We didn't even date that long, but we dated. It was it, it was cool. It was cool. She's a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. So we, we, we kind of like, you know, but... It was cool. Like, we broke up. Like, we never did anything with each other like that. But um, we did break up. Then, around high school-ish. Now, in high school, I did have, like, a boyfriend. I wouldn't even call these people. To be honest, I wouldn't even call these dudes boyfriends. Why? Because I don't give a fuck about y'all. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. And I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. So... I wouldn't even, I mean, I guess they were technically my boyfriend, but I wasn't calling on nobody's boyfriend. I got other things to do. So I'm in high school or whatever, and I had like a little, I guess a boyfriend. I don't know, but th it really wasn't serious. It was just more of the story is all of my friends had boyfriends. So at that time, I just wanted to be down with my friends. I want a boyfriend too, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't genuine. You know, I just wanted to keep up with the Joneses to the point where if we're all in the locker room getting ready and getting changed for gym, I'm looking at the bitches. <laughs> I'm looking like, let me see them boobs. And girls in locker rooms, girls are extremely flirtatious and playful. They'll just be like, whoa. And I'm just like, damn, look at those. <laughs> so when we get to high school and I am on Facebook and I come across some girl, she looks mad the fuck cute, mad, mad, mad cute. So I'm going to call her because I actually wrote her accent if I could use her name, but she didn't write back in a timely fashion. So we're just going to call her. Fuck. Fuck. We're just going to call her Welch. Her name is Welch. That's the name. Her name is Welch. So um, I see some girl on Facebook. She looked the fuck cute. Her name is Welch. I'm like, oh. Uh, ooh, at this. Mad, cute, light skin, freckles. Ooh, yeah, I like you, girl. I like you, girl. So I stood up in her DM. And I, I think I pretty much was like, oh, I think you cute or some shit like that. And um, eventually she wrote back. She didn't write back like right away, right away, because around that time, some I don't, I don't want to put out all her info, but around that time, like a close, 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 close friend of her, an extremely close friend of hers was... Um, gunned down pretty much um so at that time she was going through a lot and she rolled with a whole bunch of like bad bitches 
when I tell you, I don't know if these, I, no, I think they are her cousins or they just, I don't know. They're just all baddies, bro. They're all fucking fire. But eventually she did write me back and um, we just started talking and it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I forgot the first time we met in person. I don't remember. I smoke a lot. I don't recall, but this is how she, her right here, Welch, is how pretty much my parent, well, my mama knew that I was gay. So I think Welch was at one of her friends' house somewhere and um, we're texting. And I'm like, oh, come over. My mom just left. So she's like, all right, the fuck? She hops in a cab. She comes over. So she come over. We on the couch. We just sitting down or whatever. Sitting down on the couch. She take her shoes off. We just getting acquainted on the couch or whatever. And uh, my phone rings. My phone ring. It's my mother. I pick it up, but I'm, my Gigi, she, she got some buns back there. She got the big old thuk thuk. So I guess she butt down me with all that butt that back there. I hear her in the hallway coming up with my aunt. So I just start panicking. Fuck, 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 fuck. Now that I think about it, what I should have did was, bitch, get your shoes and just leave. They're not going to know where you're coming from. It's so, it's five fucking floors. What floor are they going to know you're coming from? But I panicked. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I just threw her shoes in the room and I just told, yo, just stay in my room. Stay in my room. So she's like, all right. My mother come in. I'm like, hey, mom. She's like, hey, Valerie. Now, this was my plan. My plan was if my mother came home by herself as soon as my mother comes in she goes straight to the bathroom so that means welch got some time to get up out my room get past the bathroom the living room the dining room and leave one problem my aunt is sitting on the chair by the door to leave and she just it's, it's, it's like she knew i was up to no good because she just looking at me like So right now I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I'm going in the room. I'm like, yo, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Welch is like, yo, just tell your mom I'm here. Just tell your mom I'm here. And in the back of my head, I'm like, bitch, my mother don't know that I'm gay yet. She kind of know, but she don't know, no. My mother don't know, my mother don't know. What you want me to tell my mother? Oh, my friend is here. And then you fucking come out? Bitch, you don't look like a fucking friend, okay? You look like a boy slash girl slash what the fuck. So my mother does exactly as I said she did. She comes in, she goes straight to the bathroom. My aunt is sitting on the chair by the door. So I go in the bathroom with my mother. I look at her. She look at me. I'm like, Ma, she looked at me. She go, who in my fucking house, Valerie? Right then and there, she, I don't know how my mother knows. My heart is just like, who in my fucking house, Valerie? I'm just like, one of my friends, I... I told her to come over, but I didn't. Like, I'm going through it. So now, my mother, hurry up, get off the toilet. She wash her hands. She fly out. Who's in my fucking house? Who's in my fucking house? She goes into my room. Mind you, after my mother left the bathroom, I just stood behind the fucking bathroom door. I didn't want to hear nothing. I didn't want to see nothing. I didn't want no parts of nothing. So I'm just... To this day, I don't know what I'm mistaken. I asked Welch, yo, what, what did my mom say to you? Or whatever, but she, I honestly forgot. If I'm not mistaken, my mother was probably like, your mother know where you at? You come up in people's house when their mother not here? This how your mother raised you? Gina's just real. Mm. As a Capricorn, she just, mm. So, um, Welch, she leaves. I, I, my mother just start wilding me up. Who the fuck you got in my house? Ah, ah, ah. And then you got, you got a, uh, 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 I, I, I can't say the word due to, uh, YouTube because I don't want them to get me. You got a, a stud in my house. That's not the word that she used. Keep in mind that my mother's an older woman, so her terminology is a little older. So she pretty much called her a bike. Just replace the B with the D, but the word is bike. You got this bike in my house <laughs> this is what you do this is what you do you like that's what you like girls that's what you gina was going off uh-uh motherfucker not in 3a motherfucker so me and my mother we was just arguing going through going through I'm like you know what i'm running away i'm running away pack my little fucking bag i ran away to my sister's house <sighs> it's not running away 
if your mother knows where you are. As soon as I got to my sister's house, I see my mother's name show up on the TV, call ID, Eugenia. Doo -doo 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 -doo. My sister answered the phone, hello? She put Valerie on the fucking phone. I get the phone, oh, oh, you thought because you fucking ran away? You thought everything was cool? I think to myself, every time I fucking run away, she know where I'm at. Maybe I had to run away somewhere different. Then, I hang up on her. I don't want to hear what you got to say right now. I'm going through a lot, okay? I was legit forced out the fucking closet. I'm going through a lot. I hung up on her. Now, between her and my aunt, they, they can't hold water. Pretty much, so, pretty much, if I fart, by the time the smell get out, down south, up south, Charleston called me. Did you fart? Was that you? I knew it was. Anytime something happened, they get on the phone and they tell everybody. Everybody. They make sure like they they call everybody. They scroll through their damn contact list. Got to call everybody A through Z. Like they call everybody. So I hung up on my mother. I hung up on my mother. Here come my fucking Uncle Curtis calling me from Charleston, Carolina. Talking about, oh yeah, oh yeah, you, you. You, you gay now? I'm going to come up there and I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. But I didn't really take it no way because Uncle Curtis has been threatening to beat my ass since I met him. <laughs> He's been threatening to put hands and foot on me for years now. So I didn't really think nothing of it. Yeah, I'm going to beat your ass when I get up, when I get to New York. When? February 30th? Hmm? Hmm? Never worry. When are you coming to New York to come and get me, Uncle Curtis? Please. So, I hung up on him. And um, if I'm not mistaken, later on that night, uh, Welch ended up coming to my sister's house. We rocked out over there, whatever. Like, we spoke about what happened. She was just like, damn. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know your mom was going to flip out like that. So, ever since then, my mom did not like Welch. Did not like Welch. To be... Even after that whole incident, like Welch and I dated, I don't know, two, three years on and off. I really mean on and off. It's, it's, it's complicated. I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. But it was like legit a back and forth thing. When when this girl wasn't there, she'll come get me. When I was like, fuck that shit, she'll go get that girl. To the point where she was just having her cake and eating it too. And I'm like, you know what? No. But after that... um. My brothers found out that I was gay, but they were just, I can see that they were happy, but sad. They were sad because it's like, damn, we ain't got nobody to bully. We ain't got nobody to size up and get swole on, bro. Damn, what we going to do now? But then they was also happy, like, damn, I ain't got nobody to beat up, size up. Shit, she out here with girls. This is great. Push come to shove, she could handle her own shit and beat them all up. So to be honest... My brothers were extremely ecstatic. They handed up was gay. Oh, yeah? Shit, to be honest, both of my brothers, any girlfriend I bring around, if they don't, they have to meet them. It's two of my brothers. They just got to meet all of my girlfriends. Oh, my God. So, now, as that, like, situation, after the situation with Welch happened, like, me and my mom, we definitely sat down and spoke about it. And she's like, this is a phase. This is a phase. It's not... This is, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just allowed as a phase because I know you're just trying to find out who you are. Ah, ah, ah. Girl. It's not a phase. <laughs> it's not a phase. Okay? It is not a phase. But um, after I pretty much spoke to my mother and told her, like, it, it's not a phase. Like, this is me. Like, this is what I... She legit, like, she sat down and she was 100% serious. She was just like, to be honest. Well, the first question she asked me was, are you the boy or the girl? Because, number one, Gigi... I know, am I the boy or the girl? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Bitch, I'm the girl. <laughs> I'm the girl. Like, what? So, the first question that she did ask me, you the boy or the girl? Ma, I'm clearly the fin. Like, I'm the girly girl. I'm not the AG. She's like, oh. So, that, that kind of helped. And um, she mainly asked that question, not... It was like, um, okay, so she pretty much asked me this question because now it's like, okay, I have a daughter that's gay. 
which gay is she? Is she the boy or the girl? And she only asked that because now she she was worried about, for an example, if I was the AG, she would be concerned that if I walked on a block, I'll be judged or or if, if, if I try to go to get a job, I won't get a job. Or she, she just felt like pretty much as an AG, we all know that you're gay. It's written on you. As a fam, you don't know. So I could just, you know, so that's the reason why she wanted to know because she also know as AGs, you're, and, and some people, some people just don't like gay people. So they'll target you. And as an AG, you, you know I'm gay. Look how I'm dressed, like, you know? So yeah, but all in all, we definitely had a conversation. Um, she asked me if I was a boy or a girl. I told her I was a girl. Then after that, she pretty much just told me, well, the second thing she said was, I think it's a phase, but this is going on. <laughs> 11 years now um oh, i think it's a phase i think it's a phase it's not a phase but then ultimately she was like to be honest when it's all said and done you are my child and i will love you i will love you until my heart started that, that that shit it's like thanks gg thanks gg then when i told my mom mom my mom mom I was like i already know i already knew this and i'm just like so when the fuck you was gonna tell me <laughs> Um, as far as my sisters, my one of my older sisters, Nicole, she was like, they all thought I was the gay one, and it was you. So, overall, my family has been extremely supportive. They love my girlfriend. Um, me and my girlfriend have been together for pretty much nine years now. They love and adore her. But, yeah, pretty much that was my coming out story. My coming out story was when my mother came in and saw my girlfriend at the time in my room. So that's the end of my story time video of me coming out. Pretty much I came out because I got caught red handed with a girl in my house in my room <laughs> and I had no choice. So I was forced to come out. I was kind of like shoved out <laughs> by life in the universe and karma. <laughs> but anywho, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. Hit that bell notification so every time I upload a video, you know. Also, remember to thumbs up this video so YouTube knows that this video is popping. And so that anybody else can hear the story time on how I came out the closet.